Hey, you know what really grinds my gears? Getting kidnapped. It's not exactly a fun thing, but that's exactly what happens in this game. You're chained up. That's not good. Oh, wait. You're not alone. There's a little girl here, okay? And guess what? You don't have a freaking phone to give her some TikTok. There's nothing you can do. So what's your goal? Get out alive. And oh boy, let me tell you, you're not ready for the end of this game. <laughs> Welcome to Hush Little Lily. And as you can hear in the background, there's sort of this uh, nursery rhyme playing in the background. And all I'm reminded of is the Eminem song. <laughs> she just starts rapping. <laughs> Although I don't think there's gonna be any rapping in this. It's a scary game. How would you like to be addressed as? Missy. <laughs> Mr. Mike. So in this game, this girl is trapped and you have to help her escape. It just looks like games we've played on the channel before, so I wanted to give it a shot. You open your eyes. The room feels just as it did before you fell asleep. Cold, inhospitable, rank with stench and humidity and rust. There is barely any light to guide your way, but you've adjusted to the darkness for so long you don't really need it. Your heart is pounding <laughs> excitingly, and then you hear it. I guess there's like a monster. Oh, God. Hush, little Lily. I'm gonna help you! I'm gonna get you out of there! Her voice. A girl is crying not too far away, and a gentle breeze filters through the unlocked door. Well, this unsettling. Oh, this is gonna jump scare me, man. An empty food bowl. Even if it's filled, uh, you aren't gonna touch it. Yeah, well, freaking, why is she being treated like a dog? What the heck? The door is made heavy and thick, so one cannot break it down easily. It's usually tightly closed, but tonight, tonight is unlocked. You're free to go. It's now or never. That is... It's not like a mouse. Oh, there she is. She got a ball and chain? What the heck? The cell doors, uh, open slowly. This one feels heavier despite you know for the fact that it's not. The room, this room's just like the one before, but a girl is inside. A small, frill looking little girl. Bound by the ankle by a shackled chain to the floor, she was kept so tantalizing close to a stool, standing right in front of her with a shiny brass key to her freedom sitting on top. All just the way enough for the girl, so even if she crawled and stretched her arm, she couldn't touch it. Ah, oh, that's jacked up. That's jacked up, man. Oh, what the heck? She, that looks scary, man. Who's here? She asked. She probably noticed you're not the one she expects. So I guess we're like, are we another prisoner? I, I have questions. Your breathing is much less pronounced. Your presence just not terrifying compared to it. The girl stares at you, feelings mixing in her bright little eyes. Are you with the monster? Leave Lily alone. Leave Lily alone. Lily wants to go back to mommy and daddy. She backs away from you and against the wall, her little hands quickly covering her face. On the verge of tears about to break down crying some more. Don't worry, I'm afraid too. You try to gently reassure the little girl that you're here to help, but she doesn't listen. She just keeps shaking her head at every word. She will need proof. Proof? A shiny brass- Why don't we get the key and freaking unlock her? Oh, I did. Oh, oh, okay. So you have to calm her down. Single lullaby. Okay, this is freaking. Why are you. Uh, dude, this is copyright. It better not. If that. The mocking. The mocking bird. Don't. Could you imagine I was singing this to you? <laughs> I'm gonna get you a diamond ring. Are you calm now? <laughs> As you sing, the girl slowly calms down. That calmed her down? Does this look like a face that'll calm you down? Recognition in her eyes. She knows the song. Someone has sung it to her before. When she finally stops shivering, you carefully open the lock on her shackle and let it fall. Her ankle is bruised, just like her palms on her knees. She must have tried very hard to reach the key before. Thank you. Bro. Bro, don't do this to me. Don't be messed up, game. I have a feeling it is going to be, though. It's nothing. You offer her a smile, which she sheepishly returns. What's your name? Uh, what's your name, mister? Oh, her name's Lily, obviously. Don't worry about it. Mister is good for now. She doesn't seem to fully uh, convinced by this, but nods. We have to get out of here fast. Oh, right. The monster's coming back. It said it was going to eat Lily. Uh, well, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, they, okay. I mean, if it's a monster. It said Lily is never seeing mommy and daddy again. The girl tears up a little more. You gently pat her back to reassure her. What if I'm the monster? I'm expecting this. You're getting out and back to them. You have to have hope. Yes. Yes, as my... As Makoto once said. <laughs> I forgot his name. Yeah, Lily have to stay hopeful. She talks in third person. The girl seems to be brave and uh, puffs her chest, even though she still looks somewhat hesitant. Uh, let's get out of here together. All right, you're gonna follow me. You're not gonna say nothing. Lily looks between you and the door, eagerly waiting to leave. So about the monster, 
It's a terrible thing. Lily was just out picking flowers and it grabbed Lily by the neck. The girl held her own throat, caressing the area. When Lily woke up, Lily was here, and the monster was looking at Lily. It's big and wide, I mean, and mean, and has an ugly, ugly face, and it's always laughing at Lily. The little girl pouts. It's gonna be alright. The monster is gone, for now. Yes, yeah, so let's go quick before it comes back. Alright. Let's play hide and seek. So is this like one of those kind of games, if I pick the wrong thing, I die? Uh, as soon as you open the door, you can smell the fetid, the fetid, I don't know what that means, scent of blood in the air. It's fresh and cold, restier than the old iron chains. The room inside has no windows or furniture. The shackles had been ripped off the walls, leaving nothing behind. On the wall, I mean, it's gotta be fake. It's gotta be fake. This is just a haunted house. On the wall, someone has left a message painted in bright red blood. And you have a feeling you know who uh, the sender was. Let's play hide and seek. That was recent. Too recent. And they use way more blood than necessary, making each letter drip more and more until forming a puddle of blood on the floor. Like seriously, did they really have to use so much blood? Come on, show off. The girl covers her mouth trying to let out a scared shriek shivering in place. Dude, fucking this game is jacked up, dude. I already know. I already know! But it's not really certain if it's because of the message or the yellowish skull so casually thrown in the corner of the room. It's probably the skull. Alright, don't you be asking for an allowance. Don't you be asking to freaking get on TikTok. I don't got TikTok up in this cave. I'm freaking trapped too, Lily. No, I'm not putting on Coco Melon, so shut up. It's locked. Oh, what should we do? Do we need to find another key? Oh my god, I swear, if Lily, you're the monster, I will never forgive you. Hmm, Lily didn't get food. Uh, what food did they feed you, mister? Horrible raisin cookies. <laughs> Little jo- uh, what the heck? I'm gonna say raisin cookies. Kids hate raisin cookies. It's funny, though. It's like, as you grow as an adult, I, to be honest, like, I probably wouldn't have liked it as, as a kid. I love raisin cookies now. Let me make cookies once. They didn't taste good, but Lily ate all of them. Aw, that's that's sad. <laughs> because Mommy worked hard to make them. They're all burnt. Lily smiled proudly, puffing up her chest. She promised she would come back and make more for Lily soon. And then the monster came in. Suddenly, she quiets down, sniffling a bit. Lily sticks her tongue at the plate. She obviously dislikes it on the principal. Yeah, don't do that. It's so... Okay, I clicked the bars. It's so high up, mister. Can you lift Lily to see? Okay, go ahead. It's covered. Yeah, there's bars there. Maybe it's in the skull. Maybe it's in the skull. Yeah, look away and you'll be fine. No, it's not? Alright, so I accidentally skipped it, but basically we were ready to Let's Play Hide and Seek. And she, and she said, oh, we're playing a game with the monster. And I, that, I didn't even think of that. So I'm gonna offer her a hug. You open her arms wide. Don't worry, it's alright. She doubts for a moment, but is so desperate that soon she practically jumps to her chest, clinging. You hold her close, softly stroking her head. Okay, yeah. I'll take care of you. She believes in you, or at least uh, she says so. Well, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know what this character's gonna do. I don't know if you should be freaking trusting me, girl. I mean, I'm not gonna hurt you, but my character might hurt you. Oh. What, what should we do? <laughs> How did do I do we that? need to find another key. No, uh, what? That, why is that an option? Self voicing disabled. Self voicing enabled. Uh, that, that's a, you don't even need Lily. me. It sounds like Clarence is reading this disabled. crap right now. All right, is there, check out the lamps. Check out the lamps. No, nothing on the lamps. All right, there's gotta be something. Oh, the the stool. The stool where the key rested, and it's now it's no use. Okay, well that that doesn't help. What about these bars? She walks to the window, tries to reach it. It's too tall for her. All right, lift her up. What do you see? Not much is dark. It's super late. Mommy will be very mad at Lily. Yeah, sh I'm sure she will. Oh my god, I did not see that key. It's literally right in front of my face. I'm so mad at myself. Don't touch that. It's dirty. Maybe it's the key. Maybe we oh, see. If I listen to you, we would die. Can't you clean it at least? Dismissively, use your sleeve to clean the blood off the brass key. It's sticky, but it's uh, gross. Goes away fast. Okay, now it looks good to Lily. All right, all right, we got it. Okay, now we're out. That took more time than it should have. There's a huge gaping hole on the right. You carefully look down the hole. It's way too deep. Uh, a fall down there would be fatal. You squint your eyes to see further down. Oh no, jump scare! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! You, Lily! Time out! Time out! What are you looking at, Mister? <laughs> we have to jump uh, in this hole. <laughs> Just jump in. Lily looks behind herself, then turns to you. Lily can't jump over that. Oh, jump over it. Okay, yes. Yeah, so don't jump in. Lily will fall. Yeah, you're too short, but you never ate your veggies. Roasted. Lily does eat them all. From the way she refused to maintain eye contact, it's easy to tell that she's a freaking liar. If you did eat them, you would be big and strong like me. Then you could jump over this hole. 
Lily crosses her arms and pouts. I, I don't even eat my vegetables, man. Let's find something to make a bridge. Meanie. Okay, I don't know if we'll find anything in the kitchen. The room beyond that old door was a kitchen. The bulky metallic stove was perfectly dusted off and maintained constantly used. It might even still be a bit warm. Lily is restlessly looking around the room despite her mood improving so much. She's still anxious about getting out. While walking around, Lily's feet trip on a few pebbles her way and she falls right on her knees. The floor is cobbled so the hit is quite harsh. She recoils in pain quickly sitting on her behind and holding her left knee. Like Peter Griffin. Ah, ah, ah. Lily, it was just a scrape. Oh, I uh, it hurts. You're quick to go to her, caressing her head and calming her down. Sing a lullaby. Oh god, not this again. Uh, cancel lullabies. Cancel lullabies. Honestly, they're just creepy, okay? Just don't. Just don't sing lullabies. Every horror movie, there's a lullaby. This is a horror game with lullabies. The tears seem to stop. Lily likes it when you sing, mister. Lily is sorry for crying. Uh, just don't cry next time. <laughs> yeah, Lily will make sure. You reach out for the tap and slowly open it. For a moment, nothing happens, and then old metallic fountain starts to shake in place. A deep, low growl starts escaping from its dusty tip, and it soon turns into a rusty, groaning, groaning howl. But then it spits little bursts of muddy, filthy water. The howl stops as the water turns, uh, starts to run cleaner and cleaner until looking pristine and fresh. Lily smiles, excited. May Lily take a sip? You gently pick her up. Oh, that's nice. We're just letting her drink some water. Cold. Surprised with delight, she takes her sweet time finally uh, satiating her thirst. Do you want to try it, mister? It's very good. Lovely, lovely loves fresh water. Yeah, everyone does. Humans love fresh water. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so mean. I'm good. I don't want that freaking infested water. The stove looks like it was used frequently. There's a kettle on top, which still has some fresh uh, water inside. What about the pantry? Anything on there? The place is clean. At least clean of anything rem remotely useful. What do you think? Okay. What do you think the monster cooks in here, mister? Soup? Cookies, children. Hmm. Cookies. Hmm, cookies. Don't be silly, mister. Everyone knows monsters hate desserts. If they liked sweets, they wouldn't eat people. Silly, mister. Okay. Alright, I didn't need to be corrected. Put something on those freaking creaks! On those freaking hinges! Oh god, why was that so creepy? That was like the creepiest part of the game. What do you see? What do you see? Uh, no matter how much she tries to jump, Lily couldn't reach the cabinets. There are a few teddy bears and hot dogs in a hot dog stand. Yeah, yeah, she's really gonna believe. I know she's small, but she's not gonna believe a hot dog stand in a cabinet, you idiot. Really? Her eyes are now full of excitement and wonder. No, it's empty. <laughs> so stupid. The girl pouts softly, punching your leg. Maybe the monster doesn't keep human food because it eats little children. Ding, ding, ding. Mommy would always tell Lily to be a good girl because the monster will come and eat naughty children. She was right! Holy crap! Maybe Lily is here in the monster's house because Lily is a bad girl. I don't think you're a bad girl. You think so? Thank you, mister. Okay, well. Okay, what about this room? You suddenly see a shadow quickly pass by. Lily holds her sleeve and pulls gently. She whispers. Is that the monster? I don't know. It hasn't seen us yet. Let's wait for it to pass. You nod, staring into the hall where the monster disappeared off to. Its footsteps were no longer audible. Lily sighs and you smile at her. Good thing we waited. Aren't you a smart cookie? Okay. What about this? The room feels cozy. It's such a nice dining room. Lily has never been in one like this before. The little girl wanders in, her steps becoming much more cautious. She seems afraid of uh, breaking or touching anything. Lily let out a soft excla exclamation when looking at the displayed plates. Each little piece of porcelain looks simple, fragile, and incredibly expensive. <laughs> the monster, you break my, my plates! When Lily grows up, Lily wants to have a big house and buy cute things like these to show them off. The little girl turns to look at you. When Lily is growing up, she will invite Mr. to look at Lily's cute things. Promise. Lily picks up the broom and starts sweeping. Can you sweep any louder, child? Lily loves to help at home. Lily tries hard to be good so mommy will smile more. Your mommy must be proud of you. She smiles and nods, very proud of herself. There's nothing of use under the table. Okay, however, uh, Lily is interested. She carefully caresses the surface with an open hand, cleaning the dust and revealing the glossy surface. It's so nice, not like the one we have at home. 
What's wrong with your house? Some, I, something tells me there's something wrong with her mom or something. Daddy says we can't afford nice things. I'm sure daddy is doing his best to provide something. It's hard for adults. I mean, yeah, you speak in facts, though. Uh, Lily knows daddy works really hard. That's why he sleeps a lot. Yeah, he's working hard for you. You know so much about daddy. Do you know him? Aw, oh, dude. Dude, that's, that's got me right in the freaking pills, though. I don't. Oh, Lily thought you did since he works hard and goes out often. Uh, then how could you be so sure if you don't know daddy? All right, can we move on? She, she has no idea. She's so clueless. <laughs> it is obvious because that's what daddies do when they can't buy nice things. So it happens to more people? Wow. It's a fixed window, so you aren't able to open it. The glass also seems to be very sturdy. You take a closer look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Something was right outside. It stared back, its mouth smirking from side to side. Monster! The girl screams, and you hold her tight in response. You take a second glance. Uh, the odd mask hanging uh, on an iron bar outside the window. What the heck? It's still there. The girl sighs. Lily hates this place. She hates it so much. The girl hugs you close, letting out a, a few sniffling sobs. Lily wants to leave. Oh, I thought we would stay for a while and chat. Oh, it's a plank! Dude, I, I, I thought it was a table! <laughs> Alright, now that we got that... You carefully put down the plank on the floor, making sure it stays nice and firm above the pitfall. A bridge has been made. Ta-da! We're so smart! Yeah, we are! She looks at the plank in the hole hesitant. Hold my hand, it'll make you feel better. Thank you, mister. Lily grabs her hand and takes her uh, first step on the bridge. She tries to be brave, keeping her eyes closed, but she squeezes you, er, your hand and she tries not to look down. After a few more steps, she finally crosses over. <laughs> as soon as you enter the room, the distant sobs of a woman uh, suddenly echo in the hall. That sounds like a lady in trouble. Mister, do you think there are more little rooms where the monster keeps people? Uh, anywho, we have to help her. The light suddenly switched off and the room went dark. Uh, what was that? Why is it suddenly dark? Lily clenches the hem of your shirt. Are you scared? Lily has until they shook her head. More importantly, the oh, why would you even ask that? The lady must be in trouble. We have to help her. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like this is a trap. There's a monster sitting in there crying, man, with a voice changer. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in. Oh my god, it's a voice recording, isn't it? When you open the door, the sobbing of the woman gets louder. Where's that cry coming from? Lily doesn't see any lady. Dude, it's totally this. It doesn't seem to be on loop either. It's just that long of a recording. What? There's no lady, but the cries are coming from this box. You take a uh, glance at her reaction before trying to turn it off. You instead ex accidentally press the wrong button. The sound, has, the sound somehow gets louder. <laughs> leave me alone, please, please, just leave me alone. The woman begins to scream and shriek. Actually, wait, I should probably... Leave me alone! Wait. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> I'm sorry, this sounds so stupid. <laughs> you monsters! The two, you, the two, wait, the two. You finally find the button to turn off the, rec the recording. You sigh, relieved. That was nasty to hear. She sounds scared. Lily hopes she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, a map. Okay, is this where we're at? You seem to, Lily seems to be deep in thought. Uh, were you scared of the, were you scared of the, the scary thing? <laughs> I just don't know why we ask her. Other children would probably find it uh, uncomfortable to hear. Well, Lily isn't like others. Oh, she doesn't find it scary. Yes, you are braver than the rest. There are many books on the shelves. Lily seems impressed for a moment, curiously looking around. She is clearly not interested in the, con the content of the books, but the various colors of their covers. Do you like to read? Lily doesn't know how to read since Lily cannot go to school and mommy and daddy are too busy to teach Lily. What kind of parents you guys, you freaking have? I mean, I see they gave this little panda thing, but... No, mommy reads nice stories to Lily sometimes. But you, mister, Lily bets you know how to read because you look super duper smart. Man, this is a freaking quill? Man, what year is this? Oh, there's another door. Uh, wide, heavy-looking shelves extend as far as the eye could see in this rather long room, all stacked to the top with boxes, cans, pots, and uh, ladles. Many different things one would expect to find in the kitchen. The pantry found- the pantry! Yay! Is this food, though? Why is there so many dishes, man? This monster loves to do dishes. There are two large cauldrons. Lily looks at you feeling clever. Maybe the monster does eat normal things like soup and curry. Maybe, uh, look at these things, they are so big. Lily wants to jump inside. No! The monster walks in. Well, you sure made that easy. Oh, it fits Lily. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Lily starts to look through the boxes in the lower shelf. Sadly, everything she finds is disappointing. 
this is all this all went bad. Daddy says things last longer than the labels say, but these smell. You decide to help checking on the shelves that are up too far for Lily, except everything you fish out. A little basket with some moldy looking bread inside. You offer it to Lily. Oh, food, don't eat that. I mean, I guess if you're starving. She picks it up excitingly, quickly going through each piece of bread. She sorts out the good ones to eat. Okay, at least she did that. She's tempted to take a bite immediately, but she looks up at you. Do you want some, mister? Okay. No, I don't like bread. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> uh, that is very insensitive of you, okay? How dare you? But you have to eat to grow big, right? I'm already big. You're the one who needs to grow bigger and stronger. You're still a small baby. Lily's not a baby. The girl pouts, but then, but that makes her decide to take a bite. What food do you like, mister? Uh, you can't be a picker or you'll get all small and thin. Lily's nagging quite intensely at you about being a picky eater. Ooh, that's dark. The end of the hall is pitch black, enough uh, to stop your path completely. Lily holds your hand tightly. It's dark. It's gonna be fine. Ooh, a flashlight. That's always good. The room looks dusty as freak, as if no one used the room in years. <laughs> Suddenly, you hear a creak and see one of the closet doors slowly open. Nah! Nope! Lily presses over to the flashlight and picks it up, showing it off before you try it out. It works! It sells batteries! The girl celebrates shaking it around. Careful, if the batteries run out, we won't be able to use it. Oh, you're right. Daddy always says that uh, save everything you can. Yes, yes. She entrusts the flashlight to you. Okay, let's freaking... What's in here? What's in here? Oh, it's a freaking rat. It's just a rat. I can, now that we have the flashlight, we should be good. Now we got the flashlight. Turn it on. You press the button. Ah! No! Ah! <laughs> oh, God! Uh. Lily gaps and quickly runs back to the room. You follow suit. You can hear heavy, slow uh, steps through the door. Checking, walking, prowling even. You hold Lily close. She covers her mouth, trying to make a sound as you try to hear what's going on outside. The deep, heavy footsteps of the monster is so close to the door. Then it stays silent for a good moment. You look at Lily and make a gesture to hide. Hide under the... Uh, the desk. No, that, that's too obvious. The desk. It's so, obvi it's so obvious that it just might work. The door is kicked open violently and the heavy and the heavy steps of the monster comes in. It's taking such leisurely steps, it's breathing so heavy, it deafens every other side. I don't know what that means. It sounds excited. The monster comes to a stop in the very middle of the room and stays there motionless, breathing, waiting. Lily uh, whimpers, pressing her hands hard against her mouth. The creature's hand knocks slowly on the polished surface on top of where you're hiding. It knows. Oh no. What a fun game. I can sense your despair. It's intoxicating. The monster's still knocking on the surface rhythmically. But I'll give you another chance to run. I will give you hope. That'll make the game more fun. The knocks get harder and harder, starting to echo in the whole room. The creature chuckles before slowly walking out of the room. It slams on the way out. It's just toying with us. You stay still until you can no longer hear the monster. Lily uh, slowly curls up against you, her entire body trembling. This is too much. This is beyond what she can take. Lily's face turns blue as she tears up. Lily hates this. Lily hates this so much. Lily begins to bawl uncontrollably. Don't cry. You'll be heard. But the monster is going to catch and eat us. Uh, it'll be all right. This is a chance to escape. You have to hope. The girl nods, but she's still shivering, unable to calm down. Ah, sing a lullaby. Gamer! The monster is in here no more. I'm just. Wait, I'm just lying. Yes, he is. I'm the monster. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. She eventually calms down after hearing the familiar song. Your song makes Lily miss mommy and daddy. It makes Lily feel at home. It makes Lily calm down. And you're right. The monster is not here anymore. But it. Then why didn't it eat us when it caught us? It probably wants to play like a cat and mouse. Lily doesn't like this game. Lily doesn't like hide and seek. Lily doesn't want to play anymore. You could still win the game. You just have to stay hopeful. Why are they saying this is a game? Like they've just been kidnapped. Is this like a... I'm telling you, man. I don't trust our character here. She nods and clenches her small fists. You're right, mister. You both look around as you walk back into the hallway, every corner, every little space, in case that thing is hiding somewhere. There's no one here anymore. Okay, well, we're on to the next one. Just as you enter the new hallway, the flashlight runs out of batteries. Dang. I like a minute of battery? What do we do now? What if we need it in the future? And if there's so many doors, there's so many doors, are we lost? When will we get to exit? Lily lets out a shaky sigh of frustration clinging to your hand. You gently pat her head. It's gonna be fine. Are you sure? Lily's going to trust you. 
Wait, you don't got a choice. How many choices you got? Ugh. It's smelly here. Let's go back. Oh, I can't examine it? Alright. Oh, well, this is kind of a... Mm, I don't know. I was gonna say nice, but not really. It's got a fire. Lily's, Lily is impressed with the room. She takes small steps in the rug to feel the soft woven silk on her feet. It's like the rugs in the fairy tales. Lily wishes we could use it to fly away. Her little banter is interrupted by a loud thud right against or outside the door. She quickly shuts up, covering her mouth. You cautiously open the door to see what's happening outside. Yo, no, 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 no! Ah! God! Ooh! The monster slams the door shut. Lily was shaken by the loud sound. What was that? Nothing! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> it was the monster. You know what? Look. This isn't about freaking trying to say Santa Claus is real, or, right, or the Tooth Fairy is real. I'm not keeping it from her. I'm telling her that was straight with the monster. Really? Lily peeks through the door. Are you an idiot? There isn't anyone anymore. Lily doesn't see any monster. Are you saying that you don't believe me? All right. All right. I'll be the only one exiting this place, okay? All right, so my recording software freaking messed up and you missed like three minutes of footage. I, I don't know why I did that. That's YouTuber problems. But anyway, uh, the only thing that happened is basically we just uh, went into this corridor right here. Oh my God, okay, well, there was a body there that got dragged uh, from the room where we walked in with the bodies. That's all we seen. And we couldn't see this because we didn't have a light, but now we do, and that's, that's basically all you missed. So, I don't know why I did that. Finally, the hallways re uh, revealed. A bloody carcass rest right in the floor above it was uh, the message. You will never escape. You see Lily covering her mouth, trying not to scream. No, is that? Her breathing becomes heavy as she begins to pan uh, panic. Sing a lullaby. Hush, little Lily, don't you scream. <laughs> it's not as bad as... Piece of crap. No, don't sing anymore. Yeah, I I'll admit, it was pretty creepy, man. I, I, I don't really like the singing either. <laughs> Since that didn't work, you hold her close instead. Sadly, this has gotten to the point that not even singing will do much. Yeah, dude, like, she's not an idiot. Singing doesn't take away the things. Lily shivers in place, paralyzed by the fear. She clings to your legs. She stares at the corpse. He's dead. L well, I, I hope so. Is Lily going to be dead too? Lily doesn't want to die. You hug her tightly. It's going to be all right. You have to stay hopeful. Hope. You should always stay hopeful. Lily smiles at you. You're right, mister. We won't give up until the very end. Uh, there was a look of determination to survive in her eyes. Lily will be home soon with daddy and mommy. Lily will have to hope for the best. Man, I feel, I feel bad for her. She's gonna freaking... Her childhood is gone, man. The body doesn't have a face or hands. Lily covers her eyes as she trembles at the sight. Proceed now? Why not? You open the door only for it to lead to another hallway. Dude, why is... They, they've never asked me that before. There's a light falling down from the ceiling as if it's symbolic. Lily stares at the locked door in front of us. Do you think we're getting close to the end? There was a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Lily hated this hide and seek game, but now Lily's happy. Hey, 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 hey. We don't celebrate too freaking soon, all right? Lily's going to win. I'm in this game too. Why do they sing it's freaking... What is this? Duncan Rampa? You're right, mister. We're going to win. Lily's happier here. Lily doesn't know what to do without you. Ah! No! Lily starts to scream at the sight of the monster and rushes towards the uh, end of the hallway. You quickly run after her. Whoa! I don't jam the key further inside. The, the lock wouldn't budge. Uh, Lily's screaming, clinging to you, panting and uh, pointing. It's coming! Hurry! Oh my god. Why? Turn left. You try again, but it still doesn't work. The monster's getting closer to something in his hand! It's a knife! Okay, the only thing we can do is freaking turn right! You try once more, but it's still stuck. Hurry, please! It's getting closer! I don't know what to do! Dude, we're so freaking dead right now. Turn left again! Oh, it unlocks! Oh god, I thought we were dead. I thought I did something wrong. You push right through and slam the door behind. It won't stop anything, though. The lights of the breaking dawn shine so brightly in this room, right atop the stairwell leading to the heavy double gates, the exit. The door was uh, left slightly agape, and you could see the light from outside. Lily cries, her little legs running as fast as they can. It's over. Yes, Lily. Let's go, mister. We're saved. We're saved. Lily tugs on your shirt to pull you towards the exit, but you won't budge. Her whole body jerks to a stop when she realizes you weren't moving at all. Well, why? She turns to look at you. She blinks and tugs at your arm. Mister, why are we stopping? The monster's close. We have to hurry. The door is kicked open violently. A cloud of dust rising from the door as the monster chuckles. Lily shrieks. Dude, run! 
Lily shrieks and pulls your arm again. Please, mister, this isn't funny. Please, let's go. Uh, mister, what are you doing? Oh, no, dude. Did I, did I guess this game? Why won't you move? No! Mister, why do you have a knife? Why? This is so jacked up, man! Why are you pointing it at Lily? Why? Why are you smiling? No! No! I don't want to sing a lullaby! Hush, little Lily. Don't be sad. But you can't. Now that you're dead. <laughs> you can never win from this. From the, the start, I aim to tear your hopes apart. I don't want a gift. Screw this game. <laughs> oh, it's so messed up. I like it. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. The skeleton, like the skeleton, is funny. That's funny to me. I don't know why, but it's messed up, man. All right, what's my present? We were the monster all along. Ah, wasn't that fun, darling? This only this game only exists to screw you with your freaking emotions, man. Uh, well, that was an interesting game. I like oh, I like how they leave the picture here. Today's scrub of the day goes to Sisaid, Sikade, Sikade. I don't know how to say her name, but your scrub of the day, yay!